boys and girls, we are going to read a fall book, and then we're going to look at our math paper. Right, this is called The Silly Scarecrow. breakfast one morning, Emily Elizabeth cuddled Clifford in her arms. It's nearly time to head to Mountain View Farm, Clifford. We are going on a hayride today, she said excitedly. Clifford wagged his tiny red tail. When Emily Elizabeth went to get dressed, Norval called out to Clifford. Be careful on your trip to the farm today, Norval said. My bird friends tell me there's something scary lurking in the cornfields out there. During the trip to the country, Clifford tried to enjoy the scenery. The mountains sparkled with fall colors and leaves danced around the train. But all Clifford could think about was the monster at Mountain View Farm. It wasn't long before they arrived. Come on, Clifford, it's time for the hayride, Emily Elizabeth announced. Clifford felt very nervous, but this place didn't look scary at all. In fact, it looked quite fun. Emily Elizabeth lifted Clifford into the back of a farm trailer. It was loaded with bales of hay. It felt stiff and crunchy under Clifford's paws. The trailer bustled and bumped its way around the farm. First, they drove by the apple orchard. Next, they stopped in the pumpkin patch. Then the farm truck made a turn. They were, they were headed straight toward the cornfields. The corn surrounded them on both sides, casting large shadows. Clifford suddenly felt even tinier than he was. And then he saw it. Hovering over Clifford was a scary monster waving its hands about. It was the monster of Mountain View Farm. Clifford quickly dove into the hay to hide. The Howard family looked at one another, confused. What's wrong, Clifford? What are you hiding from? Emily Elizabeth asked. A moment later, the trailer stopped. Emily Elizabeth hopped out and looked around to see what the trouble was. Suddenly, she pointed and said, I think I know what is frightening you. She carried Clifford over to get a closer look at what was scaring him. That's what it was, boys and girls. As they approached, Clifford hid his face in Emily Elizabeth's chest. But Emily Elizabeth reassured him, Don't worry, Clifford. It's nothing to be afraid of. Take a look. Clifford looked up and cocked his head. In front of him was the monster of Mountain View Farm. But this monster didn't look so scary anymore. It was made of cloth and wore navy blue suspenders and a peaked hat. Its feet and hands were made of hay and its nose was the felt triangle. See Clifford, it's just a silly scarecrow, Emily Elizabeth explained. They are used to scare the birds away from the corn so they don't eat it. Clifford wasn't scared anymore. He was ready to play. I guess I shouldn't believe everything I hear, he thought. So it wasn't a mountain, a uh, monster. It was just a scarecrow. All right, boys and girls, let me grab your math paper. Thinking about fall, thinking about fall, so we are going to look at some spiders. Okay, so you are going to need some crayons and we're going to 
grab some spiders. All right, I've got my crayons. We're gonna need a red crayon and a blue crayon. my red crayon and I'm going to get out my blue crayon. The directions say color the happy spiders red, color the sad spiders blue. All right, so I, you may color all of these spiders. I'm just going to do the graphing part with you and then you can finish later. All right, so color the happy spiders red. So I've got my red crayon. Oh, this one looks happy. So mark it on there. You can mark them out a little. You can go back and color yours all the way. All right, let's see. Oh, this one looks happy. Spider, color it red. That one looks sad. Here's a happy one. There's a happy one. That one's sad. This one looks pretty happy. We should have left are the sad spiders and they are supposed to be blue. You can go back and do the legs and do the web. I'm just going to mark them so that we try to grasp them. We'll be able to tell which ones are happy, which ones are sad. with me. If not, if you were just watching for directions, then you can go back and do it all when we are finished. But I've got my happy ones are red. And my sad ones are blue. So then when we come down here, it says how many spiders are happy? Remember the happy ones are red, so you need your red crayon. All right, let's count the happy spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you know we always mark our boxes first. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should have taken up your whole row. So then you can go back and color in those boxes. Remember to go back and forth. You don't have to hold your crown super tight or, make, or bear down really dark. Just hold it kind of lightly in your hands and go back and forth. All right, I colored in one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six spiders. So that one is correct. Six of the spiders are happy. All right, let's come back and see how many spiders are sad. One, two, three, four. So you want to grab one, two, three, four boxes. Mark them so you'll know which ones to color. And then you can color in those boxes. Oh, I almost went too far. I'm glad I marked them. Sometimes you start coloring and you want to keep going. All right, so we marked one, two, three, four boxes. There are one, two, three, four spiders that are sad. So if we were looking at this together, boys and girls, which one has more? Are there more happy spiders or are there more sad spiders? Yes, if we look at the graph, there are more spiders that are happy. There are less or fewer spiders that are sad. 
right? If you did not work with me, go back and do your paper. If you were working with me, but you did not get finished, you may want to go back and color the legs. You might want to color the web. You might want to color these spiders on the graph. You can finish up yours. All right, hold on to this because you will bring this all this packet back to school when you come back. And if you want to send me a picture of your work, you can do that. Have a great day.